What's the deal, my people? You know what it is, Don Tony Teflon. I'm back at you, another one. And this one is Out of Range, Episodes 3 and 4, Recap. Now, I told you before that I came up with the theory that Autumn is the grown-up Amy. And we have gotten more proof in this video that that is true. And I'm going to give you that proof in this video, plus a little more. What up to my thugs, nerds, freaks, and geeks? You're now rocking with the best of Don Tony Teflon. If you can, please subscribe and click that bell so you can be notified every time I drop a new video. As always, 500 is the like goal. If this video hits 500 likes, I will give a subscriber who leaves a comment on this video one month of Amazon Prime video for free so you can watch this show along with us. Also know that every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, I will be doing a call in live stream with Phil the Issues Guy and Bridge Four. So make sure you come and join us this Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Let's get right into this video. A lot has happened, but I think we can focus on a couple of things. And that is number one, the Black Rocks itself, and number two, that Autumn truly is Amy. Now, after I came up with that theory, I seen a lot of people in the comments section say that they agree with that or that they came up with that themselves while watching this. So great minds do think alike, but there is some proof that she could be something else that was put in this video, but I'm telling you, that is just a red herring. First, we see Autumn confront the buffalo that we keep seeing, and she goes over to the buffalo, and for some reason, this buffalo allows her to pull one of the two arrows that it had stabbed inside of it out. Most likely, this is just a vision, and this truly isn't happening. After that, we do see her go into town, into the local drugstore, and what she does when she goes into this town, but let me say first, she hitchhikes to get to town. That is very important, that we see her hitchhiking, in order to get to town that must be pointed out after that when she does get to town she does go to the local drugstore so that she can get her drug her prescription that is there for her under her name the drug is lomatrine now lomatrine is used to treat epilepsy it can also help prevent low mood depression in adults with bipolar disorder so most likely she has been clinically diagnosed with bipolar disorder. After that, we see her going to the local bar, thinking that it's Royal inside of the bar because she sees the pickup truck, but nope, it's Royal's son that's there. And then she gets into a conversation with him. And when she gets into this conversation with him, she talks about his wife, his wife going missing, how long she's been missing. And that is significant dealing with the next shot that we get. Right after this, we get a scene of Amy getting off the school bus. And when Amy gets off the school bus, she gets picked up by Billy Tillis. And now it's almost the exact same scene that we just seen her when we seen Autumn hitchhiking and getting there looked exactly the same. No, she's not hitchhiking. She's a little girl. Yet I think it's meant to mirror what we just seen Autumn do to let you know, give you a clue that they're one and the same. Also, we could take a quick look when she does get inside this truck right before she does. You see her holding on to her necklace, touching her necklace. We've seen Autumn do the exact same thing with her necklace. It's the exact same way she touches it. Not only is it the exact same way she touches it, when she's nervous, it seems like she also uses the exact same hand. This is not a coincidence, people. Not at all. This is to show you that they are one in the same. That this is the grown up version of Amy, Artemis. We get more confirmation that this is a story dealing with time travel. After Royal's boys are brought in for interrogation and they almost spill the beans until he gets there with the lawyer and saves him. While he's driving back with his boys to the house, he suggests that if he had the ability to turn back time, he would have done so to protect his sons. And I think that's a hint 
telling us that there is something going on in this show with time travel and it's a good possibility that royal will get the ability to go back in time especially after we have seen him go forward have flash forwards in time in this show already it's a good possibility that he'll be able to go back and change things Another hint we get is the forensic doctor as he reveals to Joy that they found some sort of metal lacerations on Trevor's torso. After that, he says, and what they are all find hard to believe is that according to his tests and he ran them over and over again, Trevor has been dead for less than 10 hours from the time he was found. Now, this information gives us numerous possibilities around this hole in the ground whatever you want to call it the void and what's going on with it this body clearly has been preserved somehow he died a long time before the tests say he has so what's going on is the body somehow stuck in some type of time loop when it goes inside is that what happens to you when you go inside the void if that's the case that does explain everything with Amy in Autumn. So at the funeral, remember that Autumn did compliment Billy on his singing, which I don't think Billy's that good of a singer, but I think it's supposed to tie back to him picking her up and giving her a ride after that we've seen in this episode. Now inside the bar later, we see Royal challenge Autumn to a game of cards and he cheats, cheats. He doesn't care about cheating and he does it so that he can win this necklace of her and this necklace is made from the same stone that royal found at the mountain where the police recovered trevor's body also we've seen a bunch of residents also seen the mountains disappear so this is not in people's heads this is really happening and affecting everybody and wayne observes that the rock that he has that his men's got at the ranch has some type of matter moving inside of it and this makes him go off in the abbot's west pastures looking for something at the same time royal picks up autumn's necklace and arrives near the bottomless pit where he finally encounters wayne and then he just attacks him i guess he's doing it to try to protect his secret however after they have some sort of a struggle, Wayne hits Royal in the back of the head with the rock and he just laughs and rides off into the sunset. So what's going on here? I think it's one of two things. Most likely it's an asteroid. An asteroid crashed into this planet, made this hole right down here, and that's where you're getting all the rock fragments from is the asteroid, and that's what it is. And these stones somehow have the ability to have people when affected on this planet go back into time, see flash forwards into time, and I think that's exactly what's going to go on with Royal. I think he's going to go back into time, far back. They said when they was dealing with the assessor that this land dispute happened a long, long, long time ago. I think he's going to go all the way back into that time period and set things right and make it so that his family his wife's family has this land and it's not disputed later on which will end this whole confrontation which will end his sons killing this other dude and taking care of all that it's either that or there's an alien spaceship we did see that there was some type of marks on the body that was found is it an alien spaceship that was hit by an asteroid and both plummeted into Earth and that's what's down there? I think it's one or the other. Something like that is going on. I think that's how it's going to play out. But when you mess with time and messes back, so even though he may solve a few problems, when he comes back, I think it's going to make things messed up. And I think that's what we have with this series. He's him going back into time, forward into time, trying to solve problems. And every time he does something good, something bad happens happens and he goes back and i think that's how it's going to play out again every tuesday i'm doing a live stream with phil the issues guy and bridge for the usual suspects podcast call in live stream you'll be able to call in and tell me your theories and what you think is going on again that's tuesday 8 p.m eastern time make sure you're subscribed you have the bell clicked so that you can get all notifications when we go live and we talk about this i want to see you there my people let's get this done and if you like the way i do this please thumbs up this spread this across the realm and as always subscribe and until next time you know who it is peace 
and stay sexy.